So I'm going to show you how to embed a video on your for your Wix website. In our case, um, first you're going to transfer your video to your Google Drive. And here I've uploaded my short video to the Google Drive and I'm going to double click on it to show you that this is the video, okay? This is the short video that we took um, when we're doing the force perspective assignment. So when this is open, the first thing you need to do is change the permissions of the video. So you're going to click on, you're going to go back here, go back to this video and just click on, control click on it and then choose share. Okay, so hold down the control key and then click on the, the thumbnail of this video and then choose share. When that comes up, you need to change uh, the permissions. So over here where it says get link, you're going to change that permission from the default is Orange Unified School District. You're going to change that so that now anyone with the link can view the video. We don't want to restrict it. Okay, and then you change that. Once you change it, you're going to hit done. Then go ahead and uh, double click on the video and then uh, go to the three dots up here for more actions. Click on that and choose open in new window. Okay, open in new window. And when you get that, you're going to go to the three dots again and click on it. And this time choose embed item. This is the HTML code that you want to copy. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to select that and then do Command A to select everything and then do Command C. So this this uh, video will play in a window window that is 640 by 480. If you look at those numbers, 640 by 480, 640 by 480. Okay. So we've already copied that into the memory of the computer now let's switch to our wix website so i'm logged in so i'm going to choose edit my website right so once i'm in edit my website i can come to or hit edit and it's going to do its usual thing and bring up the dashboard takes a few seconds then you're going to go to your blog Okay, go to your blog. So navigate to your blog. Or if you want to put the video in a page, then you would go to one of these pages. Okay, you would put that in one of the pages. So in this case, let's say I want to, I want to put it in a blog post, right? Let's say I want to put it in a blog post, and I, I'll, I'll use one blog post that is already published. So I'll click anywhere on the page. Choose manage posts and then I will click edit. I'll edit this I'll edit this post right here. And then so let's say we found the blog post like this one that I just mentioned where I want to include my video clip. So you're gonna scroll to the place where you want it add the video you click on the is click once on the in, in to get your insertion point then you click on the plus icon and go to this bottom portion here where it says from the web click on html code when that window comes up you're gonna paste the html code command v there all right then you hit save once you do that, you'll see, oh, my video is there, but the problem is it's kind of the, not the right shape and it's cropped. And if I want to see the whole thing, I have to use the scroll bar like that. So let's go preview it real quickly and you'll see what I mean. I have to, if I want to see the whole video, I have to use the scroll bar right here. And that is not ideal. See, that's not ideal. So. So let's exit the preview and go back to the document. And here, this is where you're going to fix this. 
So click anywhere on the video thumbnail and go to this, move your mouse to this area where it says width. You click on there one time, uh, go to click on there one time and from my experimenting, I found that if the video is 640, we should give it 10 more pixels. Okay, there. Then click on the vertical where it says the height. Click on there. We want to make the height, we add 488 at 10 pixels, so there will be 498. Alright, so now it will play perfectly because I hit publish. Let's take a look at it. View, view post. And there it is, the video plays. When you click on the video, you'll see the black bars. The black bars are there so that you get the original aspect ratio that the video was shot. That's it.